In this video, we're going to be talking about another important concept in object-oriented programming language, which is called the data or data encapsulation, however you pronounce that word, data or data. Anyway, in the previous example, we created two instant variables, account number and account balance. Remember, we have two uh, instant variables. These variables are not directly accessible from outside of the program, but you may not have realized, and I will show you, these variables we have created, they are not accessible any part of our program. Uh, in order for us to actually modify these variables, we need to use methods. And we have methods such as get account number, get account balance, set account number, and set account balance. We cannot directly change these variables without these methods. So the idea is that uh, you have a program and uh, you want to give that class to somebody else. You don't want people to start uh, messing about with the uh, internal representation of that object. So every object has unique identifier. Imagine if people started messing about with the, your bank account, uh, um, bank account number and balance. You want to protect. You want to protect. You want to uh, give. You want to have. You don't want to have a public access to the uh, instant variables. You want your instant variable to be private, so that unless somebody explicitly called this, um, uh, this. Um, uh, uh, these methods on them, then you cannot change. So the only way somebody can change the account balance now is to say uh, Johnson account and then say set account balance. This is the only way somebody can get access to the balance by calling the methods that work with the account balance. So this is a very important concept and you're still going to understand why we do this because if we just um, let me show you exactly what I mean uh, for example if you say in your program that account number is this you will get an error that the variable is not recognized so let's do that so let's go into our program look at, at the top here let me actually lower this you can see that at the top I have a variable that has been declared inside the same file as account number and it's an integer but if I go within my program and I say account number number equals to let's give you value even though this account number has been declared inside the same file and uh, it's an integer as you can see here it is not being recognized and the reason is because uh, it's saying a use of undeclared identifier account number we don't want people to be able to change our internet representation our internet uh, our instant um, instant variables just by um, doing this. We want people to be able to access these variables only through the method that we have created. So it's only through the method that we've created that people can access the instance variable. And this is what is known as uh, data encapsulation. So it's like you're giving security to your uh, instance variable. This is an important concept in object-oriented programming known as data enc encapsulation. We need to keep our data private so that they are not easily, modif uh, easily modified uh, by mistake unless you implicitly called, is it implicitly or explicitly? Call methods to modify this uh, data, you can be assured they are private to the outside world and cannot be modified. They are private data that belongs to an object. So that is what uh, data encapsulation is about and uh, you will still appreciate why we do that when we continue with uh, our journey through the object uh, objective c uh, object oriented programming language and i'll see you in the next video thank you